Hi Aries, it's thank you so much for joining me today. I hope that you are doing really, really well as we head into this week of November, which uh, in the U.S. we celebrate Thanksgiving. So it's a um, wonderful time just to think about the things that you're grateful for and for time spent with friends, family, or special people. So let's see what we have for you today. We're going to take a look at the cards. We're going to look at the awareness for the week, uh, guidance and possible outcomes. I will also choose a couple of Oracle cards for additional information. Okay, so we have the Four of Swords. We have the Ace of Wands. We have the Nine of Wands. With the Four of Swords, the Four of Swords we see the the warrior here or the uh, the knight taking a, a, a brief rest, laying down hands in a meditative pose or prayer, the sword below him. You know, this is a card of taking a time out, of taking a break. And uh, you know, the words associated with the Four of Swords are to restore, to recover, to rest. So if you've been feeling worn out or worn down, um, over obligated, or just incredibly busy, this is a message to take a break and to rest and relax and to really give you a chance, give yourself a chance to re-energize and you know, when we take a time out from situations, the situ situations don't necessarily just stop, but we're in a fresher place to come back to it. Or maybe we have a different approach or a different way of thinking. But with the Four of Swords, this is about getting the rest and the recovery that you need so that you can continue on. Here we have the Ace of Wands, beautiful card, the Ace, a gift or blessing or an opportunity from the universe that's saying to you, go forth and create. And often with this card, it's a, it can be related to a new business venture, an enterprise, a new project, new activities, your desire to create and to do something is present on Saturday. And, uh, you know, this card, as, as you look at this card and you see the castle here, you know, the castle kind of represents the dream of what you're hoping to create and what you're hoping to build and where you want to be. And so, um, again, it's, it's an opportunity for you to move forward and you have to, uh, with wands, take action. And you have to plan and to take action into creating and building and uh, undertaking new enterprises or, you know, new hobbies that you want to bring into your life. So what's interesting is this Nine of Wands. And we see this soldier, this guy, he's standing, he's holding on to the wands. He's kind of protected by the wands behind him. And he's looking over his shoulder. It looks like he's ready for whatever's going to come his way. He's wearing this bandage, and that can suggest that times have not been easy. He's had to go through some rough patches and maybe had a few bumps and bruises, but is still standing. There's a sense here of uh, having to defend and having to be aware of what may be coming next, and that you're determined to be standing and to, to continue on. And with nines, you know, nines are almost completion. So this says you have a lot of um, fortitude and courage and determination to keep going. There's also this sense of a protective side to the nine of wands of having to protect yourself. And so as I see it, you know, he's looking right at the ace of wands. And is this something that if you have a new great idea, is it something that you need to protect so that other people don't snap it up or something? So I'm just thinking of how this is just coming out at me right now is this sense of, um, you know, protecting intellectual property. That if you are thinking about a, a new invention and you're hoping to 
bring it to market or to get a patent or to do whatever is to be guarded perhaps with that proprietary information you know be careful with what your heart and your soul is trying to create and your hard work and maybe this is just a gentle reminder to be mindful of that and be mindful for who you share information with so you know uh, this a, a typical interpretation for the nine of wands is about uh, having determination and courage and, and standing tall through the challenging times even when you get beaten up a little bit you're still standing tall and you're gonna continue on and you're ready for what's coming your way these are great qualities to have particularly when you want to start new hobbies new projects new interests is this um, desire and fortitude to keep it going with that said you know as you look at the four of swords is that when you are defending your beliefs when you are standing tall when you are going through all of the obstacles and the adversity that's exhausting creating and planning and thinking about how to improve or how to bring new enterprise or inspiration into your life is also can be tiring and so really this card is just kind of the reminder here is to to don't exhaust yourself because when you don't watch your resources of time and your energy you know that's going to have an impact can lead to not feeling well uh, can just affect productivity so uh, you know there's a lot going on here for Saturday with this spread which is about really being creative moving it out with your creativity defending and doing whatever you need to do whether you're defending beliefs whether you're protecting an idea or protecting and, and having to um, you know when you meet with the bankers and the bankers are saying no way we can't give you a loan and you have to defend yourself I'm just thinking of real-life practical examples of when when the nine of wands is is there and then finally is that creating and, and defending and protecting is tiring so be careful that you manage your energy resources and your balance within your life and that you're just mindful of, of what you're doing get the rest in let's take a look at the numbers we have four five five plus nine is fourteen fourteen reduces to one plus four equals five five is about new cycles it's about freedom it's about having to adapt It can be about challenges and it can be about conflict so uh, a lot of um, uh, just a lot of interesting pieces here that are put together and so let me go ahead and uh, close the reading and we will I will pull one of the sacred rebel oracle cards and uh, we'll get a sense of, of additional messages okay the word wants to be written the word wants to be written so the word I think the Beatles said say the word and you'll be free or spread the word and you'll be free well writing is cathartic writing your business plan writing your daily to-do list um, you know writing a love letter or a, a a note of encouragement the word wants to be written so however you choose to write and whether you're writing through email whether you're doing it on a card maybe you're making a homemade card the token of expression that you give to someone else you know it's it's important because it goes to authenticity and um, writing from your heart to someone else even if it's a thank you note to express how you feel and, and your gratitude for someone's kindness or thoughtfulness or generosity if you are a creative person who has been working to write your book all these years then keep at it and realize that there are moments when you feel that the words just flow out and it's easy to write and then there are times when you're like 
I, I can't get another sentence down. What is going on? Why do I feel so blocked? And um, do the things that are going to open up your creative mind and your creative flow. Poetry, writing a song, writing a letter, uh, writing a chapter, writing a paragraph or, or whatever it may be. You can also go towards uh, illustrating as well and drawing hand in hand to me. It's, it's just of getting your hand in motion of, of writing, the beautiful art of writing. So the word wants to be written. Your story wants to be told. And, um, you know, it's a, it would be a wonderful legacy to whether you're writing a recipe book for your family of, of family history of how we cooked every, our favorite meals or just the story of our family. We came here from, you know, Italy in, in 1928. So the word wants to be written. And the word again wants to be written has to do with this creative energy and force of the Ace of Wands. So the heart of our existence is to be creative and to be inspired because we learn from, we learn from culture, we learn from the arts. So on that note, <laughs> I wish you the very best for Saturday the 18th. And if you enjoyed this reading, please like, share, or comment. If you're new to the channel, please consider subscribing. It's a great way to show support. It doesn't cost anything and you'll have access to a bunch of different readings that I do. So I hope that you will subscribe and come back again tomorrow for another daily tarot reading. Thank you so much. Bye-bye.